But what do you do if she has to pee? That's probably the most asked question I ever received when traveling with Mia. And it's totally normal because there's a lot of anxiety around cat toilet needs when traveling. Litter boxes are bulky and messy, but our cat still needs to pee and poo when we're traveling. I still remember vividly the anxiety of taking Mia with me from the US to Spain. Paperwork was my first concern, but my second concern was, is she going to be able to stay eight hours inside a carrier without needing to pee or poo? And what happens if she makes a mess and people start smelling it? I, I was terrified. Today, this anxiety is gone. I've traveled with Mia mostly around the US, but I've been to Spain several times, I've been to Greece with Mia, we went to Mexico, and plane rides are no longer scary because we have a system. And today, I wanna to share it with you. Yes, cats need litter boxes to do their number one and number two when traveling. But luckily, a litter box is nothing more than a receptacle that can hold cat litter. This is literally all we take with us when we're traveling. This litter box we use is lightweight, very easy to clean, it's compact. But the truth is that if you don't travel often, you don't need to go this fancy. There are much cheaper ways that you can go about your litter box when traveling with your cat. Amongst all the options that we've tried, both me and myself, the one that I like the most is the aluminum foil tray. This is just a regular oven disposable aluminum tray. I like them because they're super cheap, they're lightweight, and whatever your cat has used it, you can make a bowl with it and just toss it. We use this fancy litter carrying bag, but if you don't travel often, you can probably just go ahead and get yourself a Ziploc bag, a plastic one, and put the litter there. Just make sure you don't poke any holes in it because it's gonna make a mess. For me, spending a little bit more money on a good litter when traveling is a must. You want a dust-free litter that clumps very well and that it's lightweight. Cheap litter, it's not great for the house, but it's a lot worse when you're out and about and you make a mess and then you need to figure out how to clean that mess. So don't use cheap litter when traveling. Keep that at home. I created a list of all the products that I use and I love when I'm traveling with Mia and the cheap alternatives, so that if you're on a budget, you can also find solutions to the common problems without having to shell out big bucks. There's the common belief that cats are not supposed to eat before a trip. This is a practice that I don't follow anymore. The reason behind this common belief is that some cats need to take narcotics to help with anxiety, and these narcotics are nausea producing. If you have to give these narcotics to your cat, your veterinarian might recommend that your cat has nothing in their stomach before the trip because otherwise they could throw up. So if you're not medicating your cat, your cat is already going to be disrupted enough by all the experience. Keep their diet on a schedule. If they eat usually at eight in the morning, at noon, at six in the afternoon, continue doing that as normal because your cat will appreciate not being hungry on top of being slightly stressed. Also, particularly when traveling by plane, cats can get dehydrated. Feeding them a wet diet before the plane will allow them to absorb some liquids and not be dehydrated when you get down the plane. Some treats can create constipation, and constipation on top of the dehydration of the trip can create a problem in your cat's digestive system that you want to avoid. In an ideal world, we want our cat to use the litter box before we go to the plane, right? I know that Mia tends to go to the bathroom before noon. So if I can, I book flights that are past noon so that Mia has already had their opportunity to use the litter box and then she's empty when we get on the plane. If Mia doesn't use the litter box when we're at home, what I do is set up the litter box at the airport while we're waiting to board. At the beginning, I used to go to the restrooms and close myself inside a restroom and set up the litter box. But with time, I realized that people don't really care. So I look for a corner outside in the airport and I just set up the litter box. I walk me on a leash, I help her get tired and see if that bowel movement gets inspired and she uses the litter box. If your cat is not comfortable wearing a harness and a leash, I really encourage you to spend some time getting a good harness and training your cat indoors first. It's going to make your life so much easier if you can have your cat on a harness at the airport. If you need a little bit of help with that, take a look at this video because I in three very simple steps how to harness train your cat. Mia is extremely vocal and our communication is very good. 
You need to get to know your cat. Mia tells me that she needs to go to the restroom whenever she starts being very vocal, spinning in circles inside the carrier. I know it's time to stop whatever I'm doing and set up the litter box for her. During plane trips, I take the carrier, I take her to the restroom inside the aircraft. I pull down those trays that are in the restroom and I set up the litter box there. Then I wipe everything clean and disinfect it so that the next person that comes in finds it as clean or more than I found it when I got in there. During a car ride, it's even easier. You pull over at a gas station or a service area and set up the litter box literally anywhere. I made the mistake once to let Mia do it inside the car. I set up the litter box on my feet and she used it. And it was not a good experience because while we threw away the litter, the smell stayed lingering with us and that made the trip a little less enjoyable. So don't be like me and stop at the service area, please. And I'm sharing with you all this because it's a lot easier than it seems to travel with your cat and manage their pee and their poo, but accidents might happen. I insert the pee pad inside their carrier underneath the sleeping mat. This allows me to have the peace of mind that if there's an accident, all the liquid is going to be absorbed by that. And because you never know if they're going to use it, take an extra one. Because if they use that one, you want to be able to replace it with another one. I also like carrying wet wipes and disinfecting wipes, those that are gentle on the skin. Because if something happens and I need to clean a mess, I want to be able to clean everything up with a wet wipe and I want to be able to disinfect my hands afterwards. And not all accidents are caused by your cat. The most messy, disgusting, annoying accident I've ever had when traveling with Mia was caused by me. I was inside the bathroom on the plane and I turned around and when turning around I was carrying a, a plastic Ziploc bag with all the litter that was dirty that I had just scooped and I punctured it with something, everything spilled. It took me forever to clean because you know that pet scoops, which was the best thing I had to scoop it, have holes. It was miserable. That was the day that I started designing the litter carrier that I use today. It fits two loads of litter for the portable litter box and it has a Sherpa lining that prevents the dust from the litter to escape the back. Then it also has a little pocket in the front that allows you to have the portable litter bag and a small scooper. So it's super compact and I'm actually in love with it. I'll leave this one here, but if you want yours, the link is in the description box down below. The first thing that I do when I arrive at a destination is set up the litter box. If we were on a road trip and we're on an Airbnb, I will set up the litter box and I will place Mia on the litter so that she knows that the litter is there and she can use it whenever she wants. If we were traveling by plane, I will exit the aircraft and I will find a spot that's a little bit quiet to set up the litter box. And yes, it's going to take me 10 extra minutes to leave the airport, but I want to give Mia the opportunity to relieve herself if she has to. The pee and the poo are now under control, but there's something that I was mentioning at the beginning of the video that stresses me even more than that, which is the paperwork, making sure that I have the veterinarian records, that I take everything I need to take for the cat, that the airline will allow the carrier. There are so many things to consider when traveling with your cat, and this is why I created this video summarizing everything for you. Stay wild, stay safe, and I'll see you outdoors.